Hi Kayla, I wanted to add some comments about your samples, which will be a combination of my thoughts and uh, the critic Jennifer Gonzalez and also uh, Robert Longo himself. Um, this first image, uh, the way I see it, I mean, this is all just, this is all symbols. These are symbols of uh, America. I mean, the American Civil War, which was rift, uh, it was a rift in the national consciousness and it's still a scar actually. And you know, interestingly, just one generation ago, as late as one gen one or two generations ago, uh, people in the South, uh, in certain areas of the South, uh, would, would not celebrate Independence Day. And uh, my, my friend uh, who I went to school with, um, he uh, his grandmother, I believe, um, still to this day talks about, or talked at that time, this is back in the 70s, to, talked about uh, General Sherman being a total... SOB and just well, you know, spoke with hatred and re and derision. But anyway, uh, I don't want to digress too much. Here we have um, a wire construction of the United States Civil War, and then a baseball bat. And the baseball bat does not have to be a negative connotation. How you know? I mean, you had a certain take on it, which I respect. I mean, no one answer is really right. But the bat is an American symbol. It was and still is actually in the American pastime. So the bat hangs from a picture of the Civil War and a general map of the United States that seems to be unifying this, the bat and, you know, the Civil War. So there's no one right answer, but there are like associations, general associations that one can get from this. Then well, let's move on to this next one. Now this is his Men in the, series, uh, Men in the City series. And uh, the way Longo uh, uh, explained it, he photographed friends of his on the roof of his house down in the, down on South Street in New York, which is a, um, uh, well, I think it still is a, a very artsy area. And uh, he uh, explains it as being something, the gestures and the poses are something between dying and dancing. It's punk influence. Uh, Robert Lange grew up in the punk era of the 70s and 80s. So um, this is how a lot of these gestures, a lot of these poses come from the way punk dancing happened. It was very like gy gyration oriented, kind of jittery, n no smooth motion. But at the same time, uh, each each gesture or pose was supposed to be part of a sequence, like notes for music, like the score of music and the way notes go in a sequence. So they're abstract symbols and each drawing is a sequence. So a lot of these drawings cannot be taken out of sequence, but still they're interesting standing by themselves. Now this last one, um, well, I believe the title is, after we've had something about truth and God. Yeah, all you zombies, truth before God. Now uh, this can be taken several ways. Um, this is a concert hall implying civilization. This is a cyborg implying barbarism. So there's a paradox here. So the piece is a um, a statement about civilization and its, and its consequences. The cyborg has many historical cultural symbols like Japanese armor, Viking horns. Uh, if we look at a detail here, um, here, yeah, I mean, a really grotesque face like these teeth, uh, scales, uh, uh, a hand with a claw coming out of the chest where the heart is. Uh, so, um, <laughs> It's quite frightening, but yet we have this uh, concert hall in the background. So I guess it's a it's a sort of a paradox. And uh, from there, one can go anywhere you want. I mean, you saw it as the Colosseum. Hey, you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's all I can say. The Colosseum, uh, actually another symbol of barbarism. So it's not a far, it's a, it's a fine line. It's not a far cry from, not a long journey between the concert hall and the Colosseum. Um, okay, that, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, good job, and I will talk to you again soon. All right, take care.